Boom! I'm Will from EDM Tips and if you've always wanted to produce electronic dance music, be that house, techno or drum and bass or any other style of electronic dance music but you've never actually started, this video is for you. So basically for complete beginners who are new to the production world. It can be very overwhelming when you open up your first door project and it's completely blank and you just don't know where to start. So in this video I'm going to show you the three things you can do today to start producing music right now and actually get your first track finished. Otherwise you've got infinite possibilities, infinite options and it can just as I say be too overwhelming. My name's Will from EDM Tips. I've been producing dance music for over 25 years and I've spent the last five years teaching new producers how to create music that's good enough to get released on their favorite labels. Now the techniques I'm going to share with you today will work for any style of dance music and I want to give you a really quick taste of some music that I've made just so you know that I kind of know what I'm talking about. This first track was supported by Boris Brescia. And the second track's a bit more poppy, just to show you that these techniques work for any genre. If, as I suspect, you are a complete beginner, you can download my EDM production starter pack completely free below this video, which is going to help you produce any genre of dance music. It's got some templates, it's got some cheat sheets, it's got some free samples as well, so you can get started straight away. Cool, so let's get stuck right in. Just imagine you've got a completely blank door. Where do you start? Well, the first step is deciding what kind of music you want to make. Now, a lot of new producers make the mistake that they think they have to be original, but the truth is you don't want to be too original it's going to be too hard to learn the techniques that you know so this is what I recommend pick a genre that you absolutely love and pick specifically an artist or a track that you absolutely love and the quickest way to improve your electronic music production skills the quickest way to get that first track done is to try and replicate it use the reference track as a template to build your own track now a lot of people think this is copying but this is just how you learn the techniques you're not going to be able to replicate their tune and you're not going to release it this is really for your benefit because the skills you're going to learn by trying to replicate one of your favorite tracks can then be taken and applied in every single track that you do from then on out. So this is how you do it. Firstly, download your reference track rather than stream it because then you can drag it into your door. I recommend using something like Beatport because then you can download a really high quality version of the file for not very much money. And then bring that in to your door and make sure that your project tempo matches the tempo of your reference track. And this means you'll be able to loop parts of the track within your project and it's all gonna be matched up nicely in time. Part two is focusing on the drum beat first because in any kind of dance music, the drum beat is the main thing that people are dancing to. It's called dance music for a reason. So there are two main types of drum beat in all of the dance music that you hear. Now I know that sounds a little bit simplified but let me give you an example. The first and most common dance music kind of beat is the 4-4 kick drum. This was used by Avicii, this is used by Deadmau5, this is used by most house and techno artists and it looks something like this. So you have a kick on every four beats of the bar and in between those beats you have an open hat or a closed hat. And then on every other kick, so on the second kick and the fourth kick, you have a clap or a snare that looks something like this. Now that's the first and most popular kind of dance music beat. The second is based on a more hip hop type beat. And this is where you still have the snare on the second and the fourth, but the kicks switch up a bit. Now whether you're producing hip hop or trap or drum and bass, this is the hip hop kind of beat that you use. You're just changing the tempo a bit. So check this out. This is kind of a trappy beat. And I'm just gonna speed this up and now check it out. It's a drum and bass beat.
and pretty much all dance music is based on one of these two beats. So start with the beat first, get your reference track, loop the busiest part, and then just try and replicate their drum beat. That's the first most important thing that's actually going to get your track started, and then after that you can build in the other elements around it. Now you've got your drum beat that's maybe 8 or 16 bars long, and now we need to get a bass line on there. That's the next place to focus. So there are three main different kinds of bass lines, and this will depend on what kind of genre you're producing and what your reference track is, but try and copy the bass line from your reference track. It's either going to be a long sustained bass like this, it might be a bass in between every kick, so where the open or the closed hat is hitting, like this. Now the third kind of bass, and my personal favourite, is a syncopated bass line, which is where you can move the bass note around by sixteenths, and a sixteenth is when a bar is split into sixteen beats, so you've got four kick drums and sixteen beats, and if you set your grid to sixteenths and then move those bass notes off or forwards by a sixteenth, then you can create a cool syncopated bass line. And those three bass lines are going to be perfect for pretty much any genre you can think of. So I'm not going to go into music theory too much in this video, but the next stage after that would be building your chords. And I'm going to link to a video there where you can learn how to build your chord progressions even if you don't have any music theory background. So the fastest way you can get started and improving as a complete beginner is to bring a reference track into your door, try and replicate the drum beat, try and replicate the bass line and take it from there. At that point you should have some kind of inspiration, you should be able to move things forwards. Now I still use reference tracks today and as I say I've been doing this for 25 years. My students also use reference tracks and now they're being released on some of their favourite record labels like Armada and Juna Beats, Spinning Records and the secret is even the big producers are doing this. They're using other big producers as reference tracks and that's how you can develop your skills faster than in any other way that I've ever seen. I forgot to add as well, don't worry about the mixing, don't worry about the mastering or any of that stuff. Just stick to the basics when you're first starting out, get that drum beat in, you can just tweak the levels with the faders if you want to balance the mix, but don't worry about equalizers, don't worry about compression or any of that other more advanced stuff. The first thing you need to do is just get that beat down, don't run before you can walk because the chances are, and I've seen it happen hundreds of times, that you'll get disheartened if you get stuck in the weeds with all that advanced stuff that you just don't need to know. The most important thing is getting your idea down, getting that first tune finished and it will feel like such a win for you and it's a really important milestone. So so anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this guys and found this useful if you are writing your first ever track. If you did like it, please like my video and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for tips and tricks like this every single week. And you can also download a free sample pack, some free cheat sheets that's going to help you get that first track made. You can download that for free below this video. Thanks again for watching and until next time, cheers and happy producing.